Hey guys, this is Luan Legacy. If you don't know me, then get to know me. Must mean you had a boring ass childhood growing up. Um, I'm here to record a little video today because, you know, I just wanted to grace your life. People in my comments and my DMs wondering where I am, thinking I'm dead and shit, want to read my obituary. Oh, bitch, a legacy don't never die. Alright, so I'm here to remind you guys that I am the original Luan Legacy. Alright, don't get that shit twisted, bop it or pull it, bitch. So things that have changed, I'm grown, so I'm really about to have me a glass of... Prosecco as I record this video and I just wanted to talk about growing up ghetto Because growing up ghetto was probably the best thing that could have happened to me because despite the fact that it teaches you about like hard work and Appreciating what the fuck you have Bigger than that I'm the bougie bitch of all bitches Right? If I was spoiled growing up, I would be a goddamn menace to fucking society. I'm still a fucking bougie bitch. It's just growing up ghetto has taught me that you gotta work hard to be bougie. You can't be bougie without a boo. Like a sugar daddy or some G's, bitch. Grands. Rex on Rex on Rex. And you know, I'm always trying to put a positive spin on shit, but growing up ghetto was not a fucking joke, y'all. Growing up ghetto meant Growing up ghetto meant going to school at 6.30 a.m. so that your mom can go to work at 7 a.m. But school doesn't start until about 8.30, so you're just chilling at the fucking empty school for two hours. Growing up ghetto meant walking home every day, rain, hail, sleet, or snow after getting off of the bus. And you know that a fucking school bus is a fucking goddamn jungle gym. Growing up ghetto meant... Whatever the fuck was on that school lunch menu was what the fuck you ate that day. Growing up ghetto meant no extracurricular activities because you have shit to do fucking back at home and no money to put anywhere else. Growing up ghetto meant I only had two uniform shirts for five days of school because that was the only thing that was available in the family budget. And best believe, if I came home with a dirty shirt for no fucking reason, my mom would beat my ass. Because that meant she would have to hand wash the shirt, hand dry the shirt, and then send me to school with the same shirt to make it seem as if she wasn't running like a fucking family of like pigs and shit. While you're watching this video, if you never grew up ghetto, you might not be able to relate to the things that I'm saying, which is a good thing at the end of the day. I'm glad you didn't have to experience the struggles that I did, right? But take it as a learning experience because this is real life. There are people that live like this, right? But growing up ghetto has taught me how to make the most of like any situation. It doesn't matter like good, bad, life-threatening. You put me in a situation and I'm going to find the little beacon of light in that situation, right? Growing up ghetto has given me something to work for so that the generations in my family that I am responsible for don't have to struggle and have to experience the same type of hardships that I did or my parent did, right? Growing up ghetto, you obtain this incredible skill of adaptability that when faced with issues and problems and roadblocks in your life, you're just like, <laughs> and, and, okay, and, because it's like, nothing can stop us. We've been through it all. We've experienced it all. Nothing can fucking stop us from achieving success and greatness and Prosecco. I just put a pause on recording and I went to go get some soup with my mom at Sweet Tomatoes and I got some chili and then there's chili all over my fucking shirt and I just got done talking about how I have to be careful and keep my shirts clean and here I am with a fucking dirty ass chili soup. I'm a fucking grown ass man. But you know what? That's the other thing that growing up ghetto teaches you. Growing up ghetto teaches you not to give a fuck about what anybody thinks of you because honestly when I grew up I was just so embarrassed about my living situation. And as an adult, I'm just like, those were the cards that I was dealt, dude. And I'm gonna make the fucking most of it. And I'm gonna do me. At the end of the day, make the most of what you have. Cheers to that. I love you guys. Bye.